Youth runner here with Sioux Falls O'Gorman star, Libby uh, Castelli, 18-11 today, runner-up at the 38th uh, Roy Griac Invitational. Uh, usual suspects, uh, yeah. certainly with you and, uh, and Ella up front. Uh, before we talk about today, if, you, if you'll indulge me, what did you take away? What encouragement, you know, especially having those two youngsters in that race, you know, at, at Heartland Preview and being able to, you know, uh, to really, you know, push uh, push at the end. Like, what, what kind of just assurance or affirmation or validation did you get from last week that kind of, you know, felt like you were you were on a good track heading into today? Yeah, last week going into the race, I knew those two Harrisburg girls were going to be really good, but I kind of just like got confident because the whole race I was just kind of comfortable sitting behind them, and I knew I could outkick them if I stayed with them. So just confidence. Knowing that if I'm with them, I know I can outkick them. And then coming into this race, having a PR there was but definitely gave me confidence. So obviously, uh, uh, today, you know, you have to be a little, uh, a little bit more measured, a little bit more patient. Yeah. You know, uh, save it uh, to the end. How much do you feel like you you gained? Because obviously, you know, when you're racing against the, you know a, a Minnesota athlete, like mm -hmm. let's say you know someone like. Uh, you know, like I know who's talking or whatever. Like obviously, yeah. she knows this place. You know, backwards and forwards. You know, blindfolded in the dark. Yeah. You and Ella are kind of on even footing because you've both been on this course the same amount of times. Yeah. So, but how much do you feel like you gained from last year that benefited you today? Um, I think last year knowing that I could. I mean, she beat me last year, but she wasn't that far in front of me. So this year, my goal is just to kind of stay with her as long as I could, knowing that I would probably be able to stay with her for most of the race. But then, yeah, she kind of finished better than me. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, just to be able to, uh, to put these, uh, these two races back to back uh, like, like this, obviously, you look like you could go out and do another 5K right now if you, if, if you had to. So, I mean, obviously, you know, you're, 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 I mean, you're, things are obviously optimistic and we all know that it's only September 20th and yeah. the name of the game is for you to be there in November in South Dakota and Lord willing health providing in, in Oregon so I mean yeah. like when you look at the totality of the, uh, of the two weeks does, uh, are you even more encouraged or more optimistic than you were last year which was already a brilliant place for you to be yeah I definitely am I feel like these races like they honestly feel like easier and I feel just like way more fit than I was last year and more confident making NXN knowing that I, I can compete at that level than coming into this year just having, I don't know, just being able to like compete with the top girls, yeah. The fact that you've also had pretty blessed conditions, mm -hmm. you know, in both races, which isn't yeah. always the case yeah. at home for you, uh, and, and, and certainly here, uh, I mean, just the, the, like, and, and especially obviously where everything is going to be nostalgic, you know, everything is the, la is the yeah. last this and the last that, you know, but when you, when you, when you walk out on the course like this and you have conditions like you did today and last week at Yankton, like, do you really be like, hey, I may not always get this, so let's really try to take advantage of it? Yeah, definitely grateful for it, conditions like this, because, I mean, you, sometimes this race is raining and, like, bad conditions, so being able to and come mud all over the course. so grateful for that, and, I mean, I don't know, the rest of the season may be bad weather, so being able to have two good races already is such a blessing. Fantastic. Libby, stay healthy. Keep up the good work. Thank you.